Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report on a couple of big banks, and one in particular which is the biggest in the country, ANZ National and also Kiwi Bank. Both have released their general disclosure statements. These are important and if you've got money stuck in a bank, spend some time having a look at them. You can find them on the bank's websites. They tell you everything you need to know about a bank, although to be fair, it's not an easy read. Well, I've had read through both of them and I can tell you a few things about how both of these banks are travelling right now. Both of them are reporting that their bad loans, those where people haven't paid their bills on time, they're rising quite fast but from very low levels. And compared to the rest of the world, the number of people who are defaulting on their, particularly their mortgages, is extremely low in New Zealand. The ANZ said it took provisions for bad loans up by $167 million in the nine months to the end of June, and that's a triple, triple the amount that it charged in the previous corresponding period. It now has $254 million worth of loans where people haven't paid their bills on time, they're past due. It's more than double what it was a year ago. But you've got to remember that $254 million is out of a loan book of $95 billion. So it's actually just 0.26% of that loan book. ANZ also has about $14.1 billion of loans where the loan to value ratio on the mortgages is 80% or higher. So that's about 26% of their loans. Actually an improvement from the end of March. Meanwhile, Kiwi Bank has just put out their results as well. And they show their profits have risen from around 30.8 million to 36.8 million. Sounds good, but actually the level of their assets has risen very sharply during the period. They bought a big loan book from uh, HSBC and a couple of others. And so their returns, their, their profitability as opposed to their profits, actually fell from 0.8% of total assets to 0.6%. And to give you an idea how uh, less profitable Kiwi Bank is than the big banks, the Kiwi Bank's profitability ratio, so profits to assets, 0.6%. ANZ's 1.2%, so double the profitability level. So that goes to show you what sort of a subsidy you're getting if you're a Kiwi Bank customer. A couple of other subsidies there as well. New Zealand Post, which owns Kiwi Bank, actually um, buys some services from Kiwi Bank. Kiwi Bank obviously runs the banking part of the post shop, but also does some of the bill payment stuff. In fact, the size of that subsidy is very big. Remember, Kiwi Bank's profit, 36 million, between 36 and 37 million, yet the size of the money they get from NZ Post for running the payment services, 41 million. And then of course, there's the $275 million worth of capital that NZ Post have put into Kiwi Bank. And they've also not taken any earnings out. And you can see too that Kiwi Bank is planning to raise some extra money in the coming year, about 50 to 75 million dollars, what's called a uh, a, ca a capital issue, which means that uh, it hopes it will be um, standing on its own two feet. Remember though, heavy subsidies from NZ Post, and it's not as profitable as some of the other banks. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special report on ANZ National and Kiwi Bank, the release of their general disclosure statements. Thank you.